Oh dear God, it's been a while since we've been here. Ugh. Hello everyone and welcome to Cannibal Shoujo. We are planning to do... Well, I won't tell you what... Well, it might be obvious. So I might as well... Do... I don't know, should I? You'll find out. <laughs> but let me just give you a little hint. We are going for my mortal enemy of this game. So yeah, why we are starting from the beginning? Well, it's been a while since... um. Uh, I'd done Katawa and I wanted to start from the beginning. Uh, my choice. Um, you don't have to, I suppose, but you'll be waiting a while. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because, well, uh, by the time this goes out, you'll know um, I failed at um, Infinite Gameworks Studio. I think that's how it was called, Episode Zero. So, yeah, um, I won't. I can't find a guide on how to make it work, in a sense. Um, but, um,. So yeah, I'll play that um, in my own time. I won't like record it now, but I'll do this instead since um, we haven't had a um, good story-based um, visual novel. Uh, Narcissu was good, but um, uh, I just wanted to start again with this because I did find a good visual novel. Um, backstage pass, but when I asked the developer, they said, um, uh, wait till the game is, um, fully released before you post any videos, which is fair enough, I can understand where they're coming from. So yeah, we are gonna be starting with Katawa Shoujo. <laughs> uh, you will enjoy my girly girly voices. About Katawa. Uh, anyway, a light breeze causes the naked branches overhead to rattle like wooden wind chimes. I wonder how many words I'll get wrong in this series. <laughs> this is a popular retreat for couples in the summer. The Decidius. Oh my god. Oh my god, we've got a word! We've got a word! Trees provide a beautiful green canopy far out of sight of teachers and fellow students. But now, in late winter, it feels like I'm standing under a pile of kindling. I breathe into my cupped hands and rub them together furiously to prevent them from numbing in this cold. I've become so numb. Yeah, I know, I, I'm just stupid. Just how long am I expected to wait out here anyway? I'm sure the note said 4pm. Ah yes, the note. Slipped between the pages of my math book while I wasn't looking. You watch, you think this is good reading? <laughs> well, I've read this before, so of course it's gonna be good reading. As soon as we get to the new words of, of the story that I'll just be mucking up like no tomorrow. As far as cliches go, I'm more a fan of the letter in the locker, but at least this way shows a bit of initiative. I don't even think that was initiative. <laughs> as I ponder the meaning of the note, the snowfall gradually thickens. Snowflakes silently falling from the white painted sky are the only sign of time passing in this stagnant world. Time. Their slow descent upon the frozen forest makes it seem like time has slowed to a crawl. Don't, don't make me sing it. <laughs> the rustling of the dry snow underfoot startles me, interrupting the quiet mood. Someone is approaching me from behind. Prepare your anus. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm not doing a voice for I Iwanaka because, like, she's just a minor character. And besides, she is our mortal enemy. Well, for this part at least. <laughs> Hi, Hisao. You came? I said that sounded girly then. A hesitating, barely audible question. However, I recognise the owner of that dainty voice. Instantly. I feel my heart skip a beat and I feel vomit coming up my neck. It's a voice I've listened to hundreds of times, but never as more than an eavesdropper to a conversation. I turn to face this voice, the voice of my dreams, and my heart begins to race. My god, I forgot how sickening the opening was. Iwanaka. I got a note telling me to wait here. It was yours? Damn it. Damn it is one word? That, that's not even damn it. That's not even damn it, unless that's how it's spelt. I don't know. I have no clue. I spent all afternoon trying to come up with a good line, and, that's what, and that was the result. Pathetic. 
<clears throat> yes, I asked a friend to give. Oh my god, that, it was going girly then manly. Well, my voice isn't manly at all, but um, yeah, someone liked my accent, so Patrick Bauer. <laughs> I asked a friend to give you the note. I'm, all, I'm so glad you got it. A shy, joyous smile that makes me so tense I couldn't move a single muscle even if I tried. Well, we know why that's happening. Oh, there we are. Oh, really? I completely forgot about this. And even though this is the plot of uh, the entire story, <laughs> my heart is pounding now. As if it were trying to burst out from my chest and claim this girl for itself. Wow. That is some imagery I did not want to imagine. <sighs> and now I feel and now I feel cold. So, uh, here we are. Out in the cold, ironically. Once again, the wind stirs up the branches. The Oh my god. The can the cack Phonus, the cacophonous noise is music to my ears, probably. Ironaka flinches ever so softly against a gust of wind, and a skirt flies up. As it passes, she writes herself, as if supported by some new confidence. Her eyes lock with mine, and she lazily twirls her long dark hair around her finger. All the while, the anxious beating of my heart grows louder. Should I close my eyes? No. <laughs> my throat is tight. I doubt I could even force a word out if I tried. See, if my throat was tight, uh, at something like that, and my heart was beating frantically, I'd be worried. You see... No, my... I wanted to know... If you'd go out with me. Oh! Words that would never come to my ears at all. I stand there, motionless, save for my pounding heart. I want to say something in reply, but my vocal cords feel like they've been stretched beyond the bre the breaking point. Is that? I forgot about this music. I don't really like it, but it's okay. <laughs> I reach up to try to massage my throat, but this only sends spikes of blinding pain along my arms. It's that? <laughs> I did this last time, didn't I? My whole body freezes, safe in my eyes, which shoot open in terror. Oh my but me Jesus. It's out! He's dead. He's, he's dead, he's gone. Game over. We've completed the game. <laughs> the beating of my chest suddenly stops, and I go weak at the knees. Oh God, the world around me, the canopy of bare branches, the dull winter sky... Iwanaka running towards me. All these fade to black. I was just going to say fall in the black again. <laughs> the last things I remember before slipping away are the sounds of Iwanaka screaming for help and the incessant clatter, I hope I said that right, of the branches above. Did I click? Yeah, I clicked. And then we get a, the animation. Yay! Let's enjoy it without the bandicam sign go over, over he going overhead. Oh, well, that's shut up. I don't know. What 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 can you expect from me? Tick talk tick talk. Oh, right. It's been four months since my heart attack. Oh, oh cherry blossoms. I never noticed that. Well, they're gone. <laughs> A serious and pivotal moment, and I noticed cherry blossoms. 
Oh, then again, they do symbolize death. In that whole time, I can probably count the times I've left this hospital room unsupervised on one hand. Four months is a pretty long time when you're left alone with your thoughts, so I've had plenty of time to come to terms with my situation. Arrhythmia. A strange word, a foreign alien one, one that you don't want to be in the same room with. A rare condition. It causes the heart to act erratically and occasionally beat way too fast. It can be fatal, yes. Apparently, I've had it for a long time. He said it was a miracle that I was able to go on so long without anything happening. Is that really a miracle? I guess it was supposed to make me feel better. More appreciative of my life. Plot twist is a saw. <laughs> well, I've never seen it. Seen the movies. It really doesn't do anything to cheer me up. And then again, I think I've seen one. Yeah, but I don't remember. My parents, I think, were hit harder by the news than I was. They practically had two hemorrhages apiece. I had already had a full day by then to digest everything. To them, it was all fresh. They were even willing to sell our house in order to pay for a cure. Of course, there isn't a cure. Because of the late discovery of this condition, I've had to stay at ho the hospital to recuperate for the treatment from the treatments. When I was first admitted, it felt as if I was missed. For about a week, my room in the ward was full of flowers, balloons and cards. But the visitors soon dwindled and the get well gifts began trickling down to nothing shortly after. Because people suck. I'll try not to go full cynical. I make no promises. I realised that the only reason I had gotten so many cards and flowers was because sending me their sympathy had been turned into a class project. Yep, they don't care about you. <laughs> Maybe some people were generally concerned, bollocks, but I doubt it. Even in the beginning, I barely had visitors. By the end of the first month, only my parents came by on a regular basis. Iwanaka was the last to stop visiting. After six weeks, I never saw her again. We never had that much to talk about when she visited anyway. We didn't touch the subject that was between us on the fuck was that? That snowy day ever again. The hospital? It's not really a place I'd like to live in. The doctors and nurses feel so impersonal and faceless. I guess it's because they are in a hurry and they have a million other patients waiting for them, but it makes me feel uncomfortable. I hate hospitals! For the first month or so, I asked the head cardiologist. I can say that word with ease. <laughs> I can say that word with ease, but anything else? No. No way. Every time I saw him for a rough F F estimate of when I'd be able to leave. He never answered anything in a straightforward way, but told me to wait and see if the treatment and surgeries worked. So I idly observed the scar that those surgeries had left on my chest slowly change its appearance over time, thinking of it as some kind of an omen. <sighs> Just had a flashback to, <laughs> to um, Holocaust arc. I still asked the head cardiologist about, yes, on the loop, thank God for that, about leaving, but my expectations are low enough now that I'm not disappointed anymore when I don't get a reply. The way he shuffles around the answer shows that he... That there is at least some hope. I'm falling down. I can't wake up. I am not a good singer. At some point I stopped watching TV. I don't know why. I just did. Because there's no anime! Well, at least in the flaming UK. Bloody hell. Whoever designed the TV stru... Well, the channel structure should be shot. I mean, back in the day we used to have had... The anime on a weekly basis, like we were a week behind um, America, but who cares? Who cares? But now we get Jack Buggery shite. I mean, yeah, you could say we got Dragon Ball Z Kai, but that is the 4 kid censored version. Ugh. I can pinpoint the deaths. Like when, um, oh, um, what was it? What was it? 
Frieza invaded Namek, searching for the Dragon Balls, and you know those two um, little Namekians um, and um, one of his cronies. I think it was one of his. Yeah, one of his cronies uh, were going, went to kill a little the, one of the kids, right? And then when it moved from that pile, I was like, hang on, hang on, weren't we supposed to see some a uh, kid get killed or something or blasted? And then when we saw, I saw the the kid that lived, and I was like, yep, they censored it out, bastards. That makes me sound like a bad person, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe it was the wrong kind of escape, isn't my situation. I started reading instead. There was a small library at the hospital, although it was more like a storeroom for books. I began working on my way through it one small stack at a time. After consuming them, I would go back for more. I found that I like reading and I think I even became a bit addicted. I started feeling naked without a book in my hands, but I loved the stories. Oh, so uh, I love stories as well. That was what my life was like. The days became increasingly harder to distinguish from each other. Oh my god, what the hell? It was like an, I made my voice echo. How did I do that? <laughs> Deferring only by the book I was reading and the weather outside, it felt like time blew. Blurred into some kind of gooey me mass, I was trapped inside, instead of moving within. A week go by without me really noticing it. Sometimes I'd pause in realisation that I didn't know what day of the week it was. But other times all the things that surrounded me would painfully crash into my consciousness through the barrier of nonchalance I had set up for myself. Probably. I think I butchered that word, but I don't care. I don't care. The pages of my book would start to feel sharp and burning hot, and the heaviness in my chest would become so hard to bear that I had to put the book aside and just lay down for a while, looking at the ceiling as if I was going to cry. Click, damn you, mouse. Don't start with me. I swear to holy lord. I'm not even religious, but you know. But that happened on only really. And I couldn't even cry. I can't cry anyway. <laughs> I kid you not, I cannot cry. The day the doctor comes in and gives me a smile. He seems excited, but not very. It's like he is trying to make an effort to be happy on my behalf. Bastard. My parents are here. Oh god, I swore. I'm sorry, I will not swear. <laughs> I will not swear. It's been a few days since I've last seen them. Both of them are even sort of dressed up. Is this supposed to be some kind of special occasion? It's not a party. There is this ritual the head cardiologist had. Has. He takes this his time, Jesus, sorting his papers, then setting them aside as if to make a point of the pointlessness of what he just did. Then he casually sits down on the edge of the bed next to mine. He looks me in the eyes for a moment. Hello, Sal. How are you today? Apart from my heart being fucked up... Oh, Jesus! Oh, apart from my heart being buggered up... <laughs> um, no, nothing's wrong. I should really get a bleeping noise. Yeah, I'll get one. I don't answer him, but I smile a little back at him. I believe that you can go home. Your heart is stronger now, and with some precautions you should be fine. We... We have all your medication sorted out. I'll give your father the prescription. <sighs> all your medication. The doctor hands a sheet she hands a sheet of paper to my dad, whose expression turns wooden as he reads it quickly. So many. <laughs> it takes it it takes it it takes it really. I take it from his hand and take a look myself, feeling that how am I supposed to react to this? So many drugs. The absurdly long list of medications staring back at me from the paper seems insurmountable. They all blend together in a sea of letters. This is insane. Side effects, adverse effects, contradictions and dosages are listed did line after line with cold precision. I try to read them, but it's so futile. I can't understand any of it. Attempting to only makes me feel sicker. 
all this for the rest of my life. Every day. Yep. I'm afraid that is the best we can do at this point. However, new medications are always being developed, so I wouldn't be surprised to see that list fade over the years. Very optimistic, Doc. Years? What kind of confidence booster is that? I'd have felt better if he hadn't said anything at all. Also, I've spoken with your parents and we believe that it would be best if you don't return to your old school. What? What? Oh, right. <laughs> what? How did I click that? Please, calm down, Hisao. Listen to what the doctor has to say. I'm not even clicking twice and it's going quickly. Calm down. The way he says it tells me he knew full well that I wouldn't like it. Am I going to be homeschooled? Click. Whatever of my... What? Yeah. This mouse is on the fritz. Whatever of my concern shows, it's ignored. We all understand that your education is paramount. However, I don't think that it's wise for you to be without supervision. At least not until we're sure that your medication is suitable. So I've spoken to your parents about a transfer. Click. It's a school called Yamaku Academy that specializes in dealing with disabled students. Disabled? What? I'm like, you'll love it. It has a 24-hour nursing staff and it it's... Now, that I find a bit um, dodgy, because we only see one nurse. <laughs> we only see one nurse in this game, and that's it. And it's only a few minutes from a highly regarded general hospital. The majority of students live on, camp on the campus. Think of it as a boarding school of sorts. It's designed to give students a degree of independence while keeping help nearby. Independence? It's a school for disabled kids. Don't try to disguise that fact. If it was really that free, there wouldn't be a 24-hour nursing staff and you wouldn't make a hospital being nearby a selling point. Ugh, I remember why I said you were my brother. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful. But yeah, you'll like it. My opinion of that's faded away. Of course, that's only if you want to go. But your mother and I aren't really able to homeschool you. We went out there and had a... Yeah, we went out there and had a couple... Uh, and had a look a couple of weeks back. I think you'd like it. It looks like I really don't have a choice. Click down your mouse. Compared to other heart problems, people with your condition usually tend to live long lives. Usually, yeah, usually. You'll need a job one day and this is a good opportunity to continue education. This isn't an opportunity. Don't call it an opportunity. Don't call it a goddamned op opportunity. Well, you should be excited at the chance to go back to school. I remember you wanted to return to school, and while it's not the same one, a special school, that's an insult. That is what I want to say. It's a step down. Well, it's not really a step down. <laughs> it's a step up, really. It's not what you think. All the students there are pretty ac active in their own sort of way. Damn it. Click. It's geared. Yes, hopefully. Geared towards students that can still get around and learn, but just need a little help in one way or another. Your father's right. And many of the graduates of the school have gone on to do amazing things. A person doesn't have to be held back by their disability. One of my col colleagues in another school. School? Really? 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 Hospital is a graduate. I don't care. A person doesn't have to be held back by their, by their disability. That's what a disability is. I really hate that something so important was decided for me. But what can I do about it? A normal life is out of the question now. It's funny. I'd always thought my life was actually kind of boring. But now I miss it. I want to protest. I want to blame this lack of reaction on shock or fatigue. I could easily yell out something now. Something about how I can go back to school anyway. But no. I don't say anything. 
the fact that I know now it's futile. I look around the room feeling very tired of all of this. A hospital, doctors, my condition, everything. I don't see anything that would make me feel any different. There really isn't a choice. I know this, but the thought of going to a disabled school, what are those even like? As much as I try to put positive, a positive spin on this, it's very difficult. But let me try. A clean slate isn't a bad thing. That is all I can think of to get me through this. At least I still have something, even if it's a special school. It's something. It's a fresh start, and my life isn't over. It would be a mistake to just resign myself to thinking that. At the very least, I'll try to see what my new life looks like. It'll be beautiful! Act 1. Life expectancy. Get that bloody heart away from me, boy. And we have arrived at the gates of Katawa. No, at the Yamaku Academy. I'll see you all in episode 2. Good day!